Hi darlings, so this is going to be another short video, um, if you want to catch up with what I'm doing, I'm able to get stuff onto my page, Petronelle's Papillon, we will go and have a look too, but I was just thinking about Noahide Law today, and uh, I used to write about it a lot in my old blog, Victoria Cotton, which was before I got to the alchemical, it was before I really came back to my childhood love of astrology um, and I got onto the correct constellations but this is pretty enormous what I found so last little video we were looking at the red carpet of St Paul's St Paul's leaves the flock out of Pisces and St Paul's Cathedral is the mosque and um, that was the wedding of Diana, which was um, 42 years ago, which is the cycle of Jupiter, which is the symbol, um, it's the symbol of Jupiter, rather, for 42. It's the rainbow. So this is Noahide Law, which is the rainbow, 42 degrees. Um, it's the half, it's the splitting of the Red Sea. So um, these are the laws which America has been put under if ever there was martial law that came in. Noahide law would be become the new one world uh, religion law. So you see here we've got the rainbow. The rainbow is the 42 degrees. The rainbow is the unofficial symbol of Noahidism, recalling the Genesis flood narrative. Now the flood was in the time of cancer and this is what I'm going to show you uh, now and the chart so for the signing well, maybe I show you first exactly what we're looking at because um, you can all uh, work this out but okay so this is somebody who's put in Avas repeal of all legislation pertaining to Noahide Noahide laws in the USA the so-called Noahide laws or seven laws of Noah are Talmudic Jewish laws originating in ancient Babylon times. The laws prescribe practices such as idolatry, sexual immortality, theft, murder, blasphemy, eating living creatures, so here we've got the veganism, and promote the establishment of new courts. So again, we've got Dr. Doolittle coming out, and uh, this is all lowering humans into animal farm and Noahide laws were signed by Ronald Reagan and um, you know this is old Mac Ronald Donald had a farm this is animal farm George Orwell uh, the definitions of these prohibitions can include Christianity practically Kelly, any religion other than Judaism, stealing a loaf of bread, atheism, homosexuality, adultery, or eating certain live foods such as oysters. In each case, only one witness is required to convict, and in every case, the sentence is death by decapitation. So this is where it comes back to the French uh, equality, liberty, fraternity, which is the famous 777, uh, which is the Alistair Crowley. Um, you know, the uh, French Revolution was about decapitation. It's either you fall into these laws uh, or decapitation. So this is, you know, I'll, I'll, you'll, you'll see how it all turns up. In each case, only one witness is required to convict. And in every case, the sentence is death by, i.e., the power of life and death would be given to all. The greatest authority for these laws is a new... Sanhedrin court established in Tiberias, Israel in 2005 after 1600 years of absence. A House Joint Resolution 582 USA claims the United States was founded on the seven Noahide or Noahide laws. This is false. Uh, House Joint Resolution 104 states these ethical values and principles have been the bedrock of society from the dawn of civilization when they were known as the seven Noahide laws. This is false. The American people did not know about it. Since Ronald Reagan, so RR is Romanus and Remus, Romulus and Remus, it's the Roman Republic. I've been through all this in all my videos. This is Lupercalia. 
this is the wolf um, this is the RR uh, RR is uh, I think it's 1818 and 1818 is 26 it's the Aurus Boros it's the two leap loops of before Christ and art you know BC and GC uh, after Christ um, AD BC AD um, it's the Aleph Tav. Okay, the Noahide Lords are gaining favour at the UN too, where some NGOs have already pledged to uphold them. The United Noahide Council has declared its aim to take their movement to every country in the world. They further state that it is incumbent upon them to these Noahide laws on all Gentiles, non-Jews. So, yeah. Um, as a new global legal system, always the penalty is death by decapitation. This could eventually bring about the end of freedom of religion and freedom of expression amidst the greatest reign of terror the world has ever known or will ever know. The contemplation of this is very hard to stomach. Okay, so this is the date that this was signed and I think I do have to show you um, a little bit more about this. Seven Noahide laws. Um, maybe let's just go to Petronella because all my posts are here. So I've got a lot to show you of everything I've been going through. I can have a look at the end. But um, so. Okay, here. So um, this is what I'm going to be showing you. And we've got that. You can read that. Um, yes, there's some new connections. Okay, this is um, Yad Alpha's Nissan. So we've got. Um, Nisan, the 11th day of Nisan in the Hebrew calendar, is the birthday of Rabbi Menachem Mendel. So we've got the MM again, uh, the MM of the 369. Um, the leader of the Chadad dynasty of Hasidism and is celebrated by his followers as a festival. The day has been marked by a public parade and sharing with fellows since 1992, when the Rebbe Rabbi Shearson was in 7-7, seven, seven, so there we've got 7-7, seven, seven, which is, makes the triangle of the 7-7-7. 7-7 seven, seven, seven. Uh, seven, seven is 14. Eastern Parkway, recovering from a stroke. First, okay, that's about Nissan. Uh, tear down this wall, that was something interesting. Yeah, this was the Ronald Reagan, so that was 1987, okay, yeah, that was all, you see it's between Aldebaran and Antares, the west and the east, the Tempest is Temp, which is time, Kronos, and east is east, it's always between about the west and the east because it's the equinox, it's the equinox, it's always the west, east is equinox, okay, let me show you. So this was the signing of the proclamation. I, I can't pronounce it. But yeah, this I keep. I have to show you. It's here. This is the proclamation. Now, therefore, I, Ronald Reagan, President of the United States of America, do hereby proclaim the week beginning April the fourth, nineteen eighty-two, as National Medic Alert Week. I urge all citizens, associations and organizations to observe this week with activities that foster the use of emergency identification and information services. So if there's a crisis, if there's a pop-off big bang, whatever the event is that coronavirus is preparing us for, to put us into a state of sheer fear and trauma, um, this is the step that will follow. This is what I'm saying, Noahide Law. I invite the governors of the states and local government officials to give their support to these activities. Medic alert services save, save lives. In witness whereof, I have Hurento set my hand this third day of April, 
so we're on the Passover, the Equinox, in the year of our Lord, 1982, and of the independence of the United States of America, the 206th. So this is, amid the distractions and concerns of our daily existence, it is appropriate that Americans pause to reflect upon the ancient ethical principles and moral values which are the foundation of our character as a nation. So this is what I was just reading before in Abbas. Um, yeah, this is basically the, you know, what could the clampdown that has been signed by every president, um, you know, every president has re-signed and has re-put their agreement into this. So on this date, check this out, I put it at one o'clock. Because at one o'clock we've got Solomon, we've got the moon, we've got the moon bang in between Solomon. So this is the south, this is Sol, sun rules Leo, the cancerous moon ruled by um, the moon, and this is there, you know, this is opposite the Twin Peaks, this is opposite Aquarius Capricorn where we're going. And Cancer is Kali. Uh, cancer is 69. Cancer is the saltus um, that we go towards. We divide the circles. It's the division. We divide the wheel with this saltus between Cancer and Leo. Uh, and their opposites, Leo opposite Aquarius, Cancer opposite Capricorn. Cancer is the virgin mother. She is the mother. But Capricorn opposite is also the mother. And I'm going to be showing you all this about the sister chromosomes. And, um, but the most important thing to show you is this. So we've got the moon. We've got the moon. Okay. Yeah, we're just checking out. So we've got a half moon. We've got a half moon. So double trouble. It's the splitting. We've got the North Node that I'll be showing you on Sirius, which is this famous line, um, the opposition between Sirius and Altair. And we've got the head of the snake. So 18 years after was 9-11, and 18 years after is right now. So we've got, they did it every time on their God Dog Star. Uh, these big moments was when the head of the snake was here. And I'll show you that when we're looking at the charts. Then we've got... We've got... Uh, Mer is it Mercury? We've got Venus uh, on the true third eye, Giza, former halt. We've got Mercury and the sun uh, in... Pisces, so Mercury in detriment, the Sun here just coming into the Vesica Pieces. And we've got exactly what we've got right now. And as we did for the wedding of Diana, uh, we've got the good, the bad and the ugly in Virgo. They are now in Sagittarius, but that means that this is mutable energy. This is mutable energy. And Mercury rules Virgo and Jupiter rules Sagittarius. So that's the Michael Jackson uh, MJ. They need the power for the Skull and Bones Cross. So this was signed when it was in Mercury's. Uh, Mercury rules Virgo. And now these same guys are all in Sagittarius that Jupiter rules. So all this is power to take over the Twin Peaks. And to keep us stuck on their 13th sign, this is Altair, the Milky Way, here's Sagittarius. All these guys are now right here. And I'll show you. Uh, so we've got, I'll show you right now. So you, Pluto is here somewhere. He is somewhere right here. I'll show you Pluto. So there's Pluto. We've got the good, the bad, the ugly, and Mars for this signing. So this is this mutable 
uh, Virgo girl, and uh, get on top of Arcturus as well. So, um, you know, this is, we forget about that. We've got Spica and Arcturus here. Uh, okay, I'll show you now, and then we'll go and look at the, so now, here they are, all here. Okay, Pluto is this red, and at that time they will retrograde, and these guys are going to go retrograde. So it's when Mercury is right now, as we know, doing this dance retrograde over the true third eye. We've got um, Venus in Pisces, and we're about to have the moon. Venus rules Taurus. We're about to have the moon in a few hours on the bullseye. So there might be something up, up to tricks tomorrow going on uh, with the first. So for tomorrow, there's certainly going to be some up to tricks. Tomorrow, Venus in exaltation in Pisces rules Taurus. So that's definitely watch out tomorrow as the moon goes up. And the moon will, the moon will be, what stage will the moon be at? will be a half moon again. Yeah, bang, half moon. Okay, wow. That's for tomorrow. Okay, so let's have a look at the charts. So this is the signing of the um, 3rd of April, 1982. So there we have uh, the head of the dragon on Sirius, the tail on Alta, uh, the moon between Cancer and um, Leo, so these are the true twin peaks over here, we've got Venus uh, who represents Lucifer in their eyes because they've mixed, mixed her around, they've put um, Libra as masculine and Taurus as um, Libra as feminine and Taurus as masculine, Taurus is a cow not a bull, and so they've got their Venus on the true former halt at this time. And there we've got the three all in Virgo. We've got this going on on the Cancer Capricorn, which is that half moon that we see is coming up tomorrow. Cancer, the moon rules Cancer. Uh, these guys, we have the sun on Eris, the liberator, uh, Eris opposites, Mars, and all these guys retrogrades, goodness, and Jupiter's retrograde, which is what we're about to have, um, you know, I've showed you all the dance, I've showed you all the dance that we're going to have, so this is all this passage of under the, getting, trapping us in the triangle up here, and these guys will be going this summer. I think we're definitely looking at something, some kind of pop-off events coming up uh, this summer. So this is the Mercury-Jupiter gang going on. Uh, Jupiter rules here. He's trying to get all his brownie points before the great conjunction on the 21st of the 12th when uh, Jupiter will fall. He'll have no more power. So this is why these, the, these times are so important. Um, this is the 33 degrees of the Scottish Rites. This is the phoenix you see with the crown. And let's go and see a little bit all this. Let's go see um, what I've been doing in here. So you can come and read that all about this Noahide law. There he is, Ronald Reagan. So if there's any need of a crisis, any type of crisis, this steps in and it equals decapitation okay this again i've done lots of videos about this but i don't think everyone sees my videos so here we've got virgo this is represent representing virgo this is amy winehouse because these people don't die uh, c v c is the third letter, V is the 22nd, so here we have the three, two, two skull and bones. She was killed in Villa Cotre, which is where the armistice was signed in Compiègne. It's where I used to live between Compiègne and Lenya. Um, and uh, I lived 
five minutes I lived and these they're called the three forests which represent this triangle here. Uh, you have the forest of Retz, the forest of Compiègne and the forest of Chantilly, les trois forêts. And this was where uh, King Louis has his castle, his big castle, and he has a big palace for the horses. And I'll be showing you. Um, so Eliza, Eliza Doolittle, uh, in the play that my son did, the Russian play, Death and the Girl, uh, the main character was called Eliza as well. This is to do with the prophet, the, the prophet Eliza, um, Echoliza, who uh, talks about the nuclear pop-off spin. Uh, I'll be showing you. So 29 is 11. The armistice was signed on the 11th of the 11th. Uh, Noahide Law is, again, St. Martin. Uh, Noahide Law. Let's, you, I have to show you this because you will get you will work it out. Um, you see here, you'll see it's okay. No, so let's go. Let's put Noahide Law. I have to change. So I can write okay, it's coming. This won't be a long video. I'm going to just show you a few posts, and that's it. Noah Hyde Law, let's just put that. Okay, Wikipedia, and you will see we've got. Oh, have they brought me back to this? Have they brought me back to this? Um, I want to show you uh, JJ, so Jojo, JJ, they've got James, let's put Ronald Reagan, that's what I put before. Well, actually, it was all on this page, so you want to come to Wikipedia, Seven Laws of Noah. But this is St. Martin again. This is Othucus. This is St. Martin Fast. This is the armistice that was signed on St. Martin Fast Day, the day of 11-11, uh, which is the same as 2, which is 2-2, two, two, which is the Tav. This is St. Martin again. This is St. George. This is the fixed cross. And here he's called James the Just, whose judgment was adopted by the Apostolic Decree of Acts 1520. Well, 1520, that's why when we had the sky going red in London in 2017 for the Out of Africa fires, and the, the storm was called um, Ophelia, and uh, the, we saw Big Ben at quarter past three. Well, that was five minutes. We're now five minutes later, and um, three is 15, two, two is, so, you know, we're coming up, we're coming up, it, we, you know, in the next few years is whenever they're going to pull all this in. To abstain only from things polluted by idols and from fornication and from whatever has been strangled and from blood. Okay, so it's all in here, and so we come back uh, to this. So, yeah, so we had the uh, Chinese people that were frozen by Momo, the Irish man, 39. She, there were 93 dogs tested for DNA for having uh, killed her and her baby, so that is... Uh, the end of Virgo, um, and here is the dog Sirius, which is represented by the boxer. Okay, these are all good posts on um, 
so I'll just bring you to all this because it's the same kind of thing. This is this guy, Andrew, of Primal Scream. We add her all. So that's the weather, all. Andrew, we're ending the Skull and Bones Cross, the Pirates, uh, and we're in the Year of the Rat, by the way, as well. Yeah, so... Um, this was, they've had all the, part, the flooding in England. This is a very good little video. Again, so yeah, that was, um, it's all one big comedy. There is no bigger reset than at the end of the sun's five ages of rain and now the moon's five ages. We end the hero's journey, the alchemical process. Momo the Irish man that so-called froze, well this is Jack Frozen, 39 chi Chinese people, Essex lorry deaths, 39 found dead with Chinese nationals, because we are at the 369, the line broke, the monkey, moon key gets choked, and then they want to bring in Mars with Mercury and Jupiter and Venus, um, that's the Sun King, um, but, you know, there will be no need for the sun and the moon. We've got that here. Uh, we're, but that ain't happening. We're entering into the Twin Poo Kingdom. The nuclear pop-off is when you guys join the dots and we create an atomic spin that either explodes or you implode and the dream ends. Those that remain in the flesh begin the cycle again, just like caterpillars become butterflies. So too do those that follow the lamb and thalamus. Be the Lamb. Bethlehem is an inside job. 22. But I saw no temple in the city because the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. 23. And the city has no need for sun or moon to shine on it because the glory of God illuminates the city and the Lamb is its lamp. By its light the nations will walk and into the kings of the earth will bring their glory. So, you know, they want to bring in Noahide law as the Noah Mars... Um, Okay, this is, uh, you know, again, this is David Bowie here. You can go and see that. Jack, Jack Frozen, Jack Stephen. And um, just read down that. It's Again, he died at 69 years old. Uh, that's just the wheel, the end of the wheel. And again, it represents cancer, crab, the moon. Uh, and the virgin mother is Kali, Shiva. Um, and because it's the two sides, she goes towards winter, and we're at the heart of the summer, but she goes towards winter, and Capricorn, where we're entering, is we go towards the light, it's death, but it goes towards the light, and they're the two sisters, and that's what I want to show you, so here we've got uh, George R. R. Martin, Ronald Reagan, Romulus and Remus, Roman Empire, Martin, George. Uh, George is the Dragon Slayer or St. Martin. So St. Martin I'll be showing you, but it's this same guy that we've just seen in the Noahide Law. It's this guy. It's this guy here. Um, so it cannot be a coincidence that Armistice Day 1111 or 22 for V Aka Veteran, V for Victory, now Veterans Day, November the 11th, 1919 is 1010, uh, so that's XX, occurred on Martin's feast day, himself a veteran of the Roman army. St. Martin de Tour, Aka Taurus Torso Tora Bull, in the Adults Huxley novel Brave New World, a free Martin mentioned in chapters 1, 3, 11, and 17 is a woman who has been deliberately made sterile by exposure to hormones during fetal development. In the book, government policy requires free Martins to compromise 70% of the female population. RR is Roman Republic or Romulus Remus the Wolf Twins. Acca St. Martin is how females are sterilized. That's it. I'll show you the pictures now. You'll see. The West Way star is Alda Baron. Baron means to kill fertility. The Bullseye Baron. Baron. Uh, WWMM. Wild as the wind. Wind in the willows. Wind. Winds of winter. Wombles of Wimbledon. Grenfell Tower. The fire that we had was on the West Way in London. So this represents the bull. Alda Baron was on the West Way. Temp. East Tempest, Sword in the Stone of the Thick St. George Cross, 
uh, blah blah. So this is the pictures you'll see. So there's a young George R. R. Martin with looking very crowley here, and that I thought that looked like the French hunting horn. But um, so here we have those are the twin bulls. Um, and here we've got the winds of winter, W W M, French singer M, Roman Republic, the red, white, and green, the red and white dragon, and this you see is the same character that we've just seen in the Noahide Lord. This is Saint Martin Fast. He is the saint of Saint Tour. Uh, and you know, I'll sh you'll see. I'll show you the pictures. We'll get this. We've got wind in the willows. Animals again, going back into Animal Farm. Nineteenth of September. Pirate. That's the Leviathan. That's the beast that comes out from Pisces. And there's Saint George and the dragon. And this is the fixed St. George Cross, the Templar Cross, coronavirus. And there we have the M again, which is just the tubes. It's the, the tubes that the two twins are held in. Twins, Mercury rules twins. You get that, Gemini. Again, the M. And this is uh it, you know this is a bit the Sirius and Altair the Phoenix um and it's it's Ophicus it's the it's the line between Altair and Sirius this is um Charles de Gaulle Gaulois Wales Gaulois and there's the Welsh dragon Gaulois and Prince of Wales the Italian boot, flag, Romulus and Remus, Romulus and Remus. This is Altair. This is exactly where we are. This is the 33 of the, of the Scottish Rites. So this is the famous swastika and this is the spin. Altair is the spinning star. Altair with the crown, Rolls Royce, Range Rover. And there again we've got... We've got the Julius Caesar R R So this is what a free Martin is. Sterile females are unwanted in livestock produ production. There's the M, the maypole, this represents Taurus. Uh, the new solstice that we're going to be going on is Taurus opposite Scorpio. That is the true that is the true new Saltis. And they want to trick us onto Altair and Sirius. Here's the dragon. It's the game of thorns, the crown of thorns. That's why Notre Dame, they saved the crown of thorns of Jesus Christ, which is just that wreath, that ring you've just seen. This is in the 33rd department in Bordeaux. Bordeaux, uh, red wine, uh, the boots, the Italian boot, the hangman. That's why the coronavirus, the first blocking down was in Italy, the M, and here is the M and the W of the 369, MMWW. And this is the North Star, this is the Musketeer, this is, you know, wanting to kill this North Star, Elon Musk, this is why at Lupiac we have D'Artagnan. And dart is the dart of the bullseye into the hole, into the ring. And d'Artagnan is d'Artagnan, Aignan, where I live, where there's the labyrinth, which is a direct line to Tor, the Taurus field, Glastonbury, the heart chakra. The red and white lorry, the red and white dragon that froze 39 Chinese people by Momo, the Irishman, M.M. Momo. And there's Jack Frost and the bullseye. And this is San Martin Fast. And this is why Diana, the goddess of the hunt, was the moon goddess. And they put their sun king 
they want to bring in Mars as the new solar when there will be no need for the sun and the moon. And here is their fake pole, uh, new saltus. This represents the saltus, the pole. And they've got their liberty, fraternity, equality or death, decapitation, Noahide law. That's why they showed us masterclass all this time. Where's it gone? It just disappeared all of a sudden. Uh, this is the 111. This is the phone number for the NHS for coronavirus is the 111, which is just, you know, it's just a play on that. And there's the crown, crown of thorns. And this is what they showed us for Momo, the Frozen. They showed us the Tesla M and the W. Okay, this is this is the uh, closing in. There he is. Free Martin again. Okay. back. This is about the sister chromosomes. Order out of chaos, chronos, chromo, chromosomes, not corona crap, is how we become centered again, how we merge back into one. Two sister chromosomes began this wheel. The cross, the X marks the spot. The X is created by two sisters, the free Martin, two little dicky birds, Peter Sagittarius, Pisces Paul, Jupiter Joker want to make two boy twins, Mercury, Aka sterilize, make females barren, Alda barren. Then they control the flesh, the Tura. That's why Tura was one of the, the first places for the coronavirus. Torso, Tora, Taurus field, electromagnetic spin is how we pull our chromosomes. The cotton wheel, the spaghetti junction, back together again. Like Leo da Vinci, he opens and shuts from the cross to an erect man. He flies like a butterfly or trapped like a caterpillar. You need the sister chromosomes, so a little bit like Taurus and Scorpio or Capricorn and Cancer. Um, you know, we're going back into the Twin Peaks. Chromosomes to not fall in the corona chronic chaos chromometer trap. Fat in the reaper harvest those that do not reach high cardinal earth. This is the seventh seal. So, uh, you know, it's seven Noahide laws. This is blocking us in Solomon seal. The crown chakra time from flesh Jupiter to spirit Saturn. Only fear can stop you being the king and queen of your health and rising like Isis from the fallen eagle to the scorpion in the dust. Kronos, pronounced Kronos, has transliterated as Kronos or Latinized as Kronos in the personification of time in pre-Socratic philosophy and later literature. Um, okay, so then we've got the sister chromosomes. A sister chromatid refers to the identical copies chromatids formed by the DNA replication of a chromosome with both copies joined together by a common centromere. In other words, the sister chromatid may also be said to be one half of the duplicated chromosome. A pair of sister chromatids is also called a dyad. A full set of sister chromatids is created during the synthesis S phase of interphase when all the chromosomes in a cell are repli replicated. The two sister chromatids are separated from each other into two different cells during mitosis or during the second division of meiosis. Okay, you can read that. Um, let's look at the pictures. So we've got all these spaghetti junction chromosome flyovers. And this is the spaghetti junction, the cotton wheelers, and we've got the two sisters here. The seventh seal, the seven, seven Noahide laws, seventh seal. This is the film of the Bergman, the Bergman Swedish film. And there's the chess game. You know, it's becoming, it's getting past Saturn, past this clampdown we're about to have. So Jupiter is the son of Kronos and Rhea. 
and um, these this is so this is the equinox this is uh, Capricorn and Cancer this is the split and Zeus Jupiter wants to remain uh, with Mercury and Mars tricking us and we've got that again that's the crossover it's William Blake and there's Mars the Ram that's the same image on top of St. Paul's. They put William Blake's Ophicius. So here the chromata. We have to pull ourselves together. We have to organize our DNA to get back uh, the 1111 of the armistice signing. The date of St. Martin Fast is just when the X's come back to the 1. And there's Saturn with the 2 snakes so the north south node or the dna strands that the north south node are just the hypothetical points where the sun and the moon cross so that snake when we merge it there is no more sun and the moon we've merged back into the twin peaks and there is that movement from to opening and shutting back to one uh, Things got to show. And this is Ezekiel. Behold one wheel upon the earth by the living creatures. And their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. As for their rings, they were so high that they were dreadful. And their rings were full of eyes around about them four. This is what we're living now, huh? Those four planets in um, Sagittarius, the Tempest. Sagittarius constellation is a teapot. When those went, these went, and when those stood, these stood, and when those were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up over against them, for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. Well, you know, if we can't spin, then that beast comes up. There's the bullseye, and the electron, the proton, the neutron, which is just the three crosses, mutable, fixed, and cardinal. And this is the pop-off. You know, we have to be pushed to complete fear so we can pop, we can pop through. And basically that's what they're doing. So these are books, The Girl and Death. So the play my son did at the Tabernacle in London was Death, at, Death of the Girl, which just represents Virgo. So in 1982, they were all in Virgo, Mercury rules, and now they're in Sagittarius, Jupiter. So they rule the spin, Mercury and Jupiter, they rule this spin, this spin that, you know, we got to come back into the perfect uh, movement of the flower of life. So this is all represents moving into Saturn, the death of the girl Virgo and moving into high cardinal Capricorn, which is what we're going to have. We're going to have the first taste of it for the 33rd. So 30th of the 3rd is crowning of our phoenix or with you know the beginning of really clamping down with coronavirus so the sisters is this the two sisters this is taurus scorpio this is scorpio rising again but they've got it as mars they've got you know the mars 10 o'clock House of Capricorn, Saturn, on the wheel, this is the 10th house. On the clock, it's midnight, Cinderella. Cinderella turned back into a pumpkin. Clockwork orange. So 22, it's catch 22, the V. The V is 22. We want to make it out of the wheel. These are the male chromosomes because the journey goes down into the underworld and we don't want to get stuck into in material. This is those. This is Deneb, which is the cross. Uh, Deneb. Uh, those are these are these. Deneb, that cross, Altair, and Vega, the triangle. Chromosomes. This is the one 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 of the NHS. These are the, you know, there's the hidden key. We, you know, we have to find that last catch 22 the temperature and these are again talking about the sisters so we've got the fibonacci and the crystal 
uh, explosion, implosion, time, length, matter here, the eight. This is Lars. Lars did this. So, as in all lodges, everything turns around 33 and 12, 33 spine bones, 12 constellation brain and body parts. And this is the chromosome, the crossover. There he is, like the other William Blake, it's you know, the upside down V closing us in. This is this same character. This is the same character here. Noah Hyde Law. Noah Hyde Law, the seven, the seventh seal. The seventh seal is our crown when, you know, lead to gold is the journey of Saturn. Otherwise, we remain in leads. We remain in this fear based reality. Uh, There's absolutely no reason to be afraid. The minute you get all this, you're untouchable untouchable so Scorpio will rise again but we're at this moment of rising the 30th of the third we've got Saturn and Mars conjunct underneath Altair this is the true equinox we'll be coming on but the Phoenix is this passage before Scorpio becomes the top solstice again that death and the girl again. So when the skies went red in London, they said it was because of um, winds from Africa of Ophelia. It's like Ophelia. Okay, the galactic center is the Altair uh, Sirius. Beginning of the age of Aquarius. It's not 2012. It's the eight years between 2012 and 2020. It's where we are now. And there are those two spins again. How wow. Uh, coronavirus is the who. Uh, there's a big company out at the moment. They're talking all about Hawaii. Hawaii some the biggest investment. It's like the Black Rock. Um, it's just the two directions. The how wow. It's like Lord Hee-Haw, I've got, if you go to the post of Noah Hyde Law, I've put Hee-Haw. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, Hee-Haw, 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 the donkey, the last key. Okay, again, this is these passages, this is Lars who did this, um, and... So the 3rd of the 3rd, the 30th of the 3rd, or the, no, he's got it on the 3rd, 3rd Mars. I've read this in another video. You can stop and read that. Maltese cross, the sister chromosomes, death and the girl, Aleph Tab, the fleur de lys. That's the analemma. So the moon and the sun make this eight. There are eight phases to the moon, and this is the passage of the year of the sun. Uh, and it's not correct. It's not a perfect eight. We've got this gap that they want to close us into. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. That V. D, D. Okay, so this is a little bit what we're being trapped into. Um, it's interesting at the moment, all the cranes are flying over the sky in their V shapes. And it seems that they come back uh, for spring at the time of this Altair uh, crossover. It's very telling. Okay, I think... Um, One more little post. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned is your black widow Callie's sister, Doctor Who. Nope, you've got to merge those sister chromosomes because the Tempest time East Temp time is stormy and the mirror is scary. Miranda DN DNA, 
Dante, there is no Doctor Who involved. The V, the Scissor Sisters. Catch tab 22 is the angle between the solstice and the equinox. We hit Scorpio, Isis and Capricorn, two sisters, Earth, Capricorn, water, Scorpio. We leave Pisces, mutable water and Virgo, mutable Earth. Aka, Amy Winehouse, the two sides of mutable pre-sexual girl or Madonna or any of these highly sex pre-sexual teenagers. It's a holistic passage where we learn to self-heal. Again, we learn how to merge the two DNA strands to become one. The cross, scissor sisters, merge back to one again, and that is the individual journey to self-heal. You can Corona V for victory when you don't need a Doctor Who. There was a little girl who had a little curl. When she was good, she was very, very good, but when she was bad, she was horrid. And that is Kali, Shiva, your personal Jesus saviour. You need to go through her to find your inner snake, Isis, to heal first. Written as heaven has no rage, like love to hatred turn, nor hell a fury like a woman scorn. In the 1697 play, The Morning Bride, Act 3, Scene 2, well there we've got 3, 2, again 32, by William Konkrev. Um, the hath is a hyper-correction based on false chronological assumption and perception that the saying is ancient, dating to at least the to at least the grammar of early modern English, which the time of writing would be at the end of. This is also reinforced by the phrase often being falsely attributed to Shakespeare. Well, the shape, the spear, is the shape um, that I've shown you where Altair is. Uh, in Arabic, we have the Shakespeare, which is right where that wolf is. So Doctor Who... Yeah, I don't think there's anything more to show you really here. You've got it. You see, there's the dog, Sirius. Uh, this is Amit. This is what they want. They want to hold. Uh, Osiris wants to take over Isis. This is the pharmaceutical. This is to own our seven chakras, to own the journey and we crown ourselves and there's the crane uh, and these are the birds that fly over at this time so we've got Sirius and Altair this is the angle that they want to keep us on you see this is on keep us stuck in the galactic that's why they talk about going to Mars all the time because Mars rules Aries and Scorpio and Scorpio is going to be the new Saltis, but they want their Mars uh, male fire. They don't want the water Scorpio. So there's Sirius. Here's the galactic line. And that is what they're showing us with the crane and the dog. And, um, and here we've got all these guys. I mean, it's such, and there's your Julius Caesar. Jesus Christ uh, wreath. Um, yep. Okay. So that's the cutting, the two sisters, and Rolf Harris gave us two little boys, Romulus and Remus, uh, which basically there is, you know, this material realm. Um, will continue towards dystopia, and it's it's a choice it's for us to choose. This is again my great great grandmother playing the role of Miranda. She was the potato slave. Um, you can go and see all that taken by the Henry Sir Henry Cotton, the East Indian Company, whom she married. And this is the true rising of Isis. And the sisters again. It's a tempest. And there's Ophelia. So the Capricorn woman, her lofty ambition and inner drive often leave everyone else behind. She can be stubborn and is not easily led astray from her chosen path. Her independence and natural leadership skills are often the envy of the rest of the herd. She is an alpha female, incredibly tough. She will weather any storm, disappointment or tragedy. 
calmly rising ever upwards. She's lucid. She is this opposition of Capricorn Cancer. You can't get to Capricorn Woman if you haven't merged Kali, uh, the destroyer of Cancer, the floods. That's why Noah was the flood, the Noah, uh, because you've got to merge Kali. Otherwise, you're going to hop into the boat with all the animals and be like Dr. Doolittle. Uh, this is a painting I have. I miss all my paintings. It's all in storage in my house. But um, I did like that painting. Oh, it's Kali. Okay, there's the Capricorn. This is Capella. This is Capella, which is the end of the Milky Way, and she was killed. That's I did all that video about the kangaroo. Um, you have to go back and see all my videos. World Health Organization. There's the snake on the pole, and there's our wreath. And this is what's going on with the who. Madonna, frozen. Yeah, we'll be barren, sterile, frozen if we don't integrate this sister. Very much the energy we're going into, and there are chakras. So Mars, Jupiter, Sun and the Moon merge, Venus, Mercury, and we reach our crown chakra, Saturn. And there's Amy Winehouse, Virgo, Miranda from um, Picnic at Hanging Rock. Okay, we've seen everything. Let's just finish with this last look at this. At the let's look at this. So this was the signing of the procu population. Um, sorry, I pronounce it wrong. Uh, the proclamation. April 3rd, 1982, of Ronald Reagan, and now I can't open, yep, here we go, so this is pretty impressive, this is on the 33rd degree of Sheraton, um, we've got this right on the two sister chromosomes, Cancer Capricorn, the Saltis, Summer Saltis, Winter Saltis, uh, we've got Uranus that was on Antares. Here's Aldebaran up here. And we have these guys retrograde, and they will be going retrograde again in Sagittarius. So um, it's taken them that time from 1982 to now. So that will be again 42 years. Um, 42 years. Um, and so uh, 1982, 92, 2002, um, and uh, 2002, 2020, that's 30 years. Um, now, 1982, 1992, 2002, 2020, that's 40 years. Um, it was the wedding that I was doing in the last video that was 42. So we are quartered. It's the four. The four corners. Okay, my darlings. Uh, I'm all free for readings. You can, I put my site, as always, at the bottom of this video. All my love. Bye.